welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. It's our live show at 10 a.m. Mountain Time every Wednesday where we take junk and turn it into something awesome. Now you're probably thinking, this chair doesn't look super junky, but I promise you it is. We glued it and then I went ahead and painted it and sealed it and everything and it's still just wobbly because it was broken. Oh, Zep's got the mic on. I forgot to put the mic on. The sound will be better, the mic's on. Is the sound better? <laughs> um, so I put it out on the floor thinking maybe somebody will just want it as a porch chair and everybody's like, it's too wobbly. So, so what happened is I didn't realize that I thought it was just loose. Someone has glued it here before. I don't know if you can see that crack. Yeah, where the crack is is in an area that won't fix. Yeah, it's split all the way through. And unless I doweled it up through from the bottom, it's not ever going to be sturdy. So we're going to repurpose. And originally I was going to ask $40 from the chair, so we're going to hope to at least make the same $40, maybe even a little bit more. So what are we going to do with that? So we're going to make a stool and then we're going to see about making a hanging system with the pressed oak back and putting a French cleat on it. So I'm going to get started taking this apart so Jamie can start stenciling the top. Now is this, this is apothecary? Uh, or is this your mix? No, it's apothecary. It looks kind of like your mix, so I wasn't sure. It's not, it's straight up apothecary. <laughs> so you may want to grab some of that. because She you're said her sound right is here. extremely low. You might have to turn it up on your end because we've got that mic and it's pushed in all the way, right? Yeah, it's in. All right. I can talk louder. <laughs> all right, so you might want to scooch right. so that people I'm can see you. you while I pull this apart. Yeah, put it on the porch, call it a day. I know, right? But I gotta sell it, so we gotta make it sellable. People don't want broken stuff. I was actually thinking today, I need to go through some of my furniture and maybe line some drawers and juju it up a little bit to get it sold. All right, sound is great. Can I paint over wax? If it's been over 30 days, you should be able to lightly sand it and paint it. Technically, you should not paint over wax because it needs to breathe. Um, I do it all the time, but the long and the short answer is you should not paint over wax ever, but I've done it. If it's fresh wax, take it off with mineral spirits and then paint. All right, let's see. Sorry, I had to grab some, a screwdriver. <laughs> let's see, howdy, sound is great. Somebody says it's low. I guess it just depends on what you're watching on, but she cranked it up and she's good. Um, make sure got any other questions. Hi from Israel. We got somebody in Israel. We got somebody on here from Lebanon. Teresa's watching us from her hospital room. She is having back surgery today. Oh. Hopefully your back surgery goes well. Um, new member Kim Vol Volpe. Vol Make sure Kim, you're checking out community because now that you're a member, new posts that you haven't seen before are going to show up because they're members only posts. There's links there. You can catch our videos, our printables, and our book chapter. So someone before me went so far as to try to drill down through this and fix this crack and it was not successful. So, and there's, I don't know if I have the right bit for that. They used a square head. I might, I might in my little box. Or you might have to just saws all it off. Do you have your saws off? No, but I have saws. Mary says, can't wait until we're back at the fine house. Me either. Oh man, when we get back, I am going to be like, Hustling. It is starting to get chilly up here. It froze the other night, and I was hoping to have the foundation poured and be putting up walls by now. I know. So <laughs> we are dealing with our structural engineer, not necessarily say dealing, but waiting for him to give us the green light and all the, the infrastructure stuff we need to do to make it sturdy and last for a long time. And permits. There's always permits. All right, so when you've got a chair like this, a lot of times instead of putting a screw in here like that, these have a dowel in here that's split, and then you can just put a wedge in there and spread that out, and that's how these are supposed to be. Someone looks like they've gone in and glued it and put a screw right down in here. So now I've got to take that screw out and get this out. We'll see. I might just take a hammer to that and knock that right on out. Heidi, thank you. She says she's watching She's watching today. She's wearing her Farmhouse 1917 shirt. For those of you that don't know, Farmhouse 1917 is what we named the house that we're working on. Hold on. She also says, I look good. Thanks, Heidi. 
The black t-shirt is uh, kind of like distressing is for furniture. Black t-shirts hide a multitude of sins. <laughs> All right, gotta go grab a hammer and then we'll see if we can knock that seat out. Um, once we get back in the farmhouse, that's gonna be doing some structural stuff. And I think probably after the electrical and the structural are done, our next project is going to be like shiplap. Right? And then pantry? Yeah. I may... Maybe after we do electrical, the next one could be the pantry, because then we can close up that floor and get that all finished out. And So we were planning on doing just absolutely everything ourselves, but we're a little crunched on time right now, trying to beat the winner. So I may hire someone out to, to for the foundation for the addition. Yeah. But that's something that I feel like is okay to have somebody else do. We'll have somebody do the foundation, and then we'll work on the farmhouse. Well, the foundation for the addition is being done. All, all right, right. So it's going to get loud. Gonna... I'm going to knock this out all right. here. Cover your ears. Maybe it's glued in. I might have to drill it they out. They used hot glue. Uh, it looks like they used an epoxy type. I would just saw it off. You think so? Yeah, because then I don't have to putty that a big hole. That's going to get loud, too. Well, take it outside. All right. No, I'll do it right here so they can see. But all it's right. just going to be loud. It's going to be loud. Bring some equipment. He's going to get his equipment, so fair warning, but he wants you to see how he does it. I actually think it makes more sense to cut this off right here because then I don't have to fill that big hole. I can just paint over it. Is my garage empty, Farrier Things? Uh, no, but it's emptier. Um, a lot of the things are in the garage that needs to repair or some of the, like there's a big hutch. That has to be painted at our house because we do have a spray booth here, but it's got a really small door. It's down some really steep, small steps. So we're not going to be hauling big furniture down there. But I think when we get back from France, we're going to finish painting up all that furniture. So we have lots of stuff to sell for our grand opening. And then our garage will be empty. Still can't park in it because neither one of our cars fit in our garage currently, but they will fit in the new garage. We designed it to fit our giant vehicles. So hopefully that works. Um, Joanne says hello from Cedar. Are you in Cedar City? We were just there a few weeks ago. All right, fair warning. All you, right. Might, you might want to drop the sound. I'm actually going to cut this on the top and we'll yeah. just leave that dowel in, sand that smooth and you can paint over and it'll be flush. Okay. So this is just a uh, multi-tool or multi-function to tool. I have, I have my jigsaw. Those I just don't have it. Oh, we got all right, this is going to be really loud. This is a loud tool. I may go run this around the corner and do that other one because that was so loud. But gives now you an you idea. It, you guys sure. saw what I did. I'll be right back. Where's your hearing protection? Is that right? Uh, I left it at the house. Probably at the farmhouse. You All know, right, I'm, I'm gonna paint. Hold on. I wear hearing right protection back. like 80 percent of the time. Do as I do now, or do as I say now as I do, right? Yeah, I couldn't hear much because I had my fingers in my ears. All right, I'm gonna work on this uh, toolbox. Well, that goes away. Hold on, I gotta get paint. I'm still here. Don't worry. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. What color? Ooh, okay. All right. And I'm back. So for the grand opening, if you're coming, we're going to be having make and take. So probably Thursday's video will be us showing you the make and takes and what we're going to be doing with them. Um, and then also Debbie and I are going to be teaching a class and we're probably going to show you guys how to paint furniture, but I want something that people in the class can be painting while we're painting. And I was thinking, originally I thought pumpkin, right? But it's already October 26th. So that means people are going to be starting to decorate for Christmas. So do you guys think for the class that I'm going to do with Debbie on the 28th, um, should we do pumpkins or should I have Zeb cut out some Christmas trees 
on the CNC machine. Let me know in comments what you think. If you were coming, or if you are coming, what would you rather do? It's not going to be a huge project, but I feel weird painting in front of people without them at least working on something. So I'm thinking Debbie and I will do like some sort of boho farmhouse furniture together, and then everybody in the class can be working on a piece. Oh, nice. That was fast. Yeah, All right. it's, it's pretty quick. So I'm wondering, oh, I'm using Salty Kiss, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's a good Christmas green, although I'm probably going to start using aviary more, too, for Christmas. Are you going to take those off? Yeah, I'm taking these off because they're not on the bag. So whereas this is in here, maybe we should cut this off here instead of leaving it so long. We can take these pieces here and we can use them for feet on a tray. I think now, that's what I'm saying, like now that it's apart, I can make it not wonky. Oh. So would we do hooks down here too? Is that why you want to make it so long? Okay, so the nice thing about that multi-tool is it cut that super flush. I didn't really need to sand that paper. Okay, I'm going to finish painting this real quick. And this is pretty much almost done, like maybe paint the top and looks like I scuffed it there with something black. Oh, you it's okay yeah. because I'm, I can go ahead and stencil it while the other part's drying. Everybody says Christmas trees. Okay, so Deb, I asked them for the class that Debbie and I are doing. I'm going to need you to cut out some bigger Christmas tree okay. with a CNC. But I'm wondering, are, can we use plywood so that way we can use like some different techniques? Or do, should we use MDF? What cuts better on the CNC? The MDF cuts what, much better. If we do MDF, can you put little ridges in it so it looks like you Um... Like where yes. it just goes down a little bit, but not all the way? Yeah. Okay. I will I will concede to MDF if it's got like some texture to it. We'll, we'll make it look like it's been planked or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. We'll do Christmas trees. Um, let's see. Heidi says that's buffering randomly. It's not buffering on my end, so maybe hop back out and hop back in. Um, let's see. I like doing blues, whites, and silver for the holiday winter clothes. Extends the use a bit further just for the winter holiday. Snowmen and snowflakes are a great idea. Those are cute. I do too, but I also like traditional. For my own home, like I always like to put in my shop when I decorate my own home. And in my house, it's traditional uh, red and green with silver and gold. That's, I have done the silver and the blue though. I did snowmen. I think like when we were first married, wasn't it? Snowmen and silver and blue, because that was kind of trendy at the time. You're asking me to remember that far back? I don't remember how I decorated our first Christmas tree. <laughs> uh, if I remember how you decorated the Christmas tree last year, I feel like I'm Oh, winning. you do too remember, because we did handmade. You helped make all the ornaments. Yeah, remember? but I didn't do the decorating. Well, this year I think I'm just going to... Put, I'm going to put the fancy Christmas tree in the farmhouse, even though the addition won't be done. And then I'll let the kids just do what they want at the house. I was thinking we could do Christmas morning. We'll just drag them over to the farmhouse because then we can keep all the presents secret. Santa can come without having to worry about the kids waking up. You That's know, right. We great. can like go for an hour the night before and, and let Santa in the house and he can set up early because I know he has a lot of houses to do. All right. So that's all smooth all there. Can you give me some wet wipes? We have? Oh, they're right yeah. over there. All right. Do you want to paint that real quick? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll touch up those spots. Okay. You said apothecary, right? Yeah. I might just repaint the whole top. Yeah, repaint the whole top so that we don't have any variation in tone. But then it's going to have to dry before we can stencil it. You know, I really should cut the back end of this brush off because I'm really... Doing a number on the back end of my hand. Oh, this apothecary has been watered down for spraying. Oh, don't use that. You have a different one? I don't know. If not, go in the back. Go get it. We've got 1,600, 1,600 pounds of paint delivered this week. So we have a lot of paint. Caitlin has been working for two days to ship and has got a good amount of some of those orders that have been waiting on the new colors out. And then Ivy, she's the ship master because that's what she does all the time. She's going to be shipping... Uh, the rest of them today and tomorrow. So if you've been waiting on some paint, it's coming. I was never so happy to see that palette full of paint on Monday. And then we had another box and then we have four boxes being delivered today. And we ordered more than, than we needed because we didn't ever want to be out of paint again. Yeah. It was, it's, uh, it was so much we didn't have the shelf space for it. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, we have space in the garage. And the cool thing is, I started painting those little pieces, like those dressers and stuff, 
but I only used paint that I already had open because I didn't dare waste any paint um, on dressers in case it needed to be shipped to somebody. But now that all the paint's in, I can finish my dresser display at the shop. And I'm excited about that. We bought those little mini dressers, one for each color of DIY paint, and I can't wait to get them all done. They've been pat patiently waiting for the colors to come in. So the rest of this has already been sealed with uh, Sweet Pickens Top Coat. And we'll just take it down into the spray booth down in the basement when it's all done and spray it real quick. It'll take 30 seconds to spray this top and it'll be nice and durable and can be used for pretty much anything. <laughs> Caitlin just got on. She forgot that we go live at 10 now. Well, luckily I don't think we've had any trolls. Jane says, my husband and I are celebrating our 33rd, 43rd wedding anniversary today. Our first tree was a Charlie Brown tree. We laughed so hard and he was proud of that tree. I think our first tree was a $20 Black Friday Walmart special. Yeah. That sounds about right. Uh, we've never had a real tree our whole married life. No. Well, it's because I decorate in, like, November. Yeah, that's true. You I can't have that. a real tree and decorate that far in advance. Okay, so this is pretty much done. We'll just stress this down. Are you going to stencil this in a minute? Uh, yeah, as soon as it's dry. Okay. So we'll let that dry. I'm going to start working on the top piece. because I know when everybody comes to the grand opening, everybody's going to be thinking Christmas. So even though fall is in the shop, I really got to get the Christmas stuff done. And we don't buy like mass produced stuff to sell in our store, which means we have to make everything. But that's okay. If I come up with a good idea, I can get the girls that work here started on it because they are super awesome. Yesterday, Kathy was working and she finished the most adorable three drawer nightstand and she did a better job than I do of buffing that wax. It's like so smooth. Yeah, she, uh, well, she buffed it to, like, a nice sheen. You know, you probably, heard, no, I can fix it. I can do it. What yeah, I'll do is I'll, are we gonna have later off camera, off? I will cut these off okay. right here. So you're just going to fix and that. And then I'll just repair this section here. But why so do you want not, it so big is what I'm asking. You just want it to be this spot yeah. here? I mean, do you think it looks bad? All right, you guys, we got to ask another question. Hold it up and see, it. should we, should we cut it off underneath here? So we've got these spindles for some other project, or should we leave it this tall and then just cut this off right here? I'm thinking just cut it off right here. Why don't you go take it outside and just cut it off right there so I can see it. I need a visual. You need a visual? I need a visual. Okay, I'll be right back. It'll only take a sec. Thank you. I appreciate it. He always loves it when I have wild ideas. Of One of these days, I'm gonna follow everybody's suggestions and get myself a Lazy Susan for smalls. I gotta find one first, maybe at thrift stores. Maybe the thrifting, maybe I'll get a thrift gift. Man, my braces are making me talk funny today. Sorry, guys. Okay. If I were local, Jamie, I would so love to work there. Aw, thanks, Diana. I really love the girls that work here. We have a lot of fun, and they're doing awesome. I'm teaching them how to, like, use the products that we sell. And really, by teaching them, I'm just saying, here's this, paint that. And trial and error, they're doing a really great job. I think we'll probably, starting the new year, we'll do some. All right. Okay, all painted. The nice thing is that this was raw wood, so that salty kiss just soaked right up. I only need one coat, and once that's dry, then I can stencil it. All right, let me see. Okay, so I think leave it like this and put the hooks on this bottom section. On the bottom and the top? No, just right double, here. I think double hooks, you know, like when you're, because what sometimes in a coat rack, you have two sets of hooks. Yeah, like we three across the top and two on the bottom? So what I would do is probably leave this blank and stencil something in here, or stamp something, and then do four hooks across the bottom. You think we could fit four hooks? Yeah, they're not that big. Mm, okay, now put the hook up top, let me see. Mm, you're right. Okay, do it. Okay. Do it. Do it. Oh, Renee says you want mom's Lazy Susan? Come and get it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to make a trip to Arizona just to go get a Lazy Susan. <laughs> All right. Oh, new member, Kay Schroeder. And we had another new member that joined back. I missed it. Oh, and we had Jeanette. Our, actually, so if you guys have just joined our channel membership group, um, make sure you're hitting up community because now you're going to be seeing the members only community posts that nobody else sees. The links are on there for the printables, the book chapters, and our extra videos. Can you see what I'm doing all right? All right, I'm moving this out of the way. I made a big green mess, Seb. So I'm just going to drill some pilot holes for this. 
missed a spot. Nobody told me I missed a spot in the front. The trick is going to be like getting them all kind of level looking. I need more wipes. On this kind of level looking. I need more wipes. On this uh, on it, this curve. I guess I'll just crawl under the tripod. Oh, oh. You did good. You didn't bump it. Jamie just crawled under the tripod. <laughs> Okay, so I think that looks fine just up against that. that. So off camera, Zeb will go ahead and repair the sides and putty those. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just going to require a little bit of glue. I might run a dowel up through there now that I can get to it real easy. But for the most part, it's actually sturdy now that it's not trying to hold the whole back of the chair up. The first time a kid leaned back in that chair, it was going to snap the camera. And I know about kids leaning back in chairs. That's why we have metal chairs and a bench. I don't know why, but at church, kids always want to lean back in chairs. All right, I'm going underneath again. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I'm gonna, good. I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer and angle it down. So you guys Am I calling him Jeff? I didn't call you Jeff. Nope. Zeb. Z E B. Zeb. It's because of my braces, guys. I have these new trays, and they are... Every week you switch to new trays. Yeah, well, this week is especially bad. I guess I could take them out for live videos. I'm trying to wear them as much as possible. Okay, so how many times uh, do we post for channel members a week? Uh, we post two videos a month, one printable and one book chapter. So about four times a month. There should be four posts a month. Yeah. They're not always per week, though. <laughs> yeah, we usually try to get uh, a video in the first of the month, and then you'll get the chapters and the printable, usually in that first week, usually. Yeah. And then, it's been a little bit crazy with the shop opening. Things have been delayed, but we've still been getting them out. I think next month it's going to go, what are you talking about? Oh, next month's book chapter is all going to be the insides and outsides of what we look for when we're picking. Yep. And maybe we'll do a video that corresponds with it live from the thrift store. <laughs> oh, a live video from a thrift store. That sounds interesting. We should see if they'll let us in early and like talk to the managers <laughs> before they open. I don't think they like us that much. I don't think they do either. I mean, I do have some connections in DI, but it's never gotten me anything. Okay. I wonder if Molly's sad that she gave me this table because it's been... She actually said she never liked this table. So I feel like it's a good work table. That Maybe oak, I'll hold that for you. That oak is hard. I needed to uh, drill it a little more. All right. One on. So I kind of went with the curve of the chair on that. I'm going to do it on this side too. And then, and then, we, two more then we might measure, but I'll probably just go off of where these yeah. valves are. Yeah, that's good. These I actually don't think you need to do anything to this part. I, oh, yep. there, that one's gone. Let me just save the piece. I'll no, it it's on. fine. Just take, paint it. <laughs> the whole charm is that it's salvage. So I'm thinking if we just sand this a little bit, I'll just paint that over that and then call it good. You yeah, don't want okay. it to look new. All right. It's old seas. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear in the background every now and then. We got that clock working. <laughs> well, they're going to hear in about... Oh, here it oh, goes. There, it's chiming. It's chiming on the half hour. So at the end, we'll know when our video is over because it will chime at 11 o'clock. If we don't know what we're talking about on Saturday's live, Zeb had a... a well, actually, a pre-recorded live. Zeb had a, a clock that we couldn't get right, and then everybody said swing the pendulum. So when we came back, we swung the pendulum, wound it up, and it's been chiming on the hour and the half hour ever since. These screws are so small, I need like a number one drill bit, and I've got a number two. Mm -hmm. Here, want me to hold this? Yeah, that'll help. Oh, another member, Judy Barton. Welcome, thank you. Welcome, Judy. Oh, no. That oak is so hard, it snapped the head right off that screw. Oh, shoot, I didn't get that out. Oh, uh, you don't. <laughs> okay, well, I'll put three more screws in there and we'll glue that one. Do you need me to go get some glue? Where's the construction adhesive? I'll go get that. Hold on. Let's put the construction adhesive underneath here. Oh, it, it'll be fine. So, note to self if you get these hooks off of Amazon, Good pilot holes are necessary because the screws can't handle hardwoods. All right. 
I brought the gun. Okay, where's that head that came off? Uh, oh, that's a lot of glue. Just okay. okay. All right, hang on. <laughs> We're... To put the JRB. They said to put the JRB logo on the top. While it would be cute, I'm not sure people want that in their house. All right, that's a lot of glue. All right, well, you know, if a little is good, a lot is better. Get him a number two drill bit. You know the drill. That was good. <laughs> I don't think he has a number two drill bit. I, I'm using a number two. I need a number one. Oh. Okay, there we go. Wipe off some of the excess and then just... Yeah, that was plenty of glue. I might have to get glued later. It's being... Uh, I'm going to be moving it around too much. You got that. The trouble is I got some finger. glue on my finger. No, no. <laughs> we'll just do it later. Okay. Just know that we're going to do that later. Let me wipe it off. So it'll be funny sturdy with three screws in there. But Not a big for deal. For looksies, we need I might, I might take it back apart off camera and drill that out with a uh, different drill bit. All right. Two on. Two, two to more go. go. Oh, uh, Caitlin, would you drop the link for channel membership in comments, please? Can't see a full picture of you guys. That's because we're showing you what we're doing. You can see my hands. I guess we could pull it back now. Hold on, wait for it. Here, I'll fix it. Here we go. I'll, I'll pull it back a little now. It's we're, You guys have seen me screw that in. You know what I'm doing. Yeah, they're picking up what you're throwing down. But I was squatting down here so they could see me. All right, can you tell me about my paint? So we're using DIY paint. It's all natural, clay-based paint. Sticks to almost everything. It's a little bit thicker, but you can water it down if you want to. I like to just brush it on thick because I like my good coverage. And then I sand it a little bit smooth, and then it has to be sealed with wax or a liquid water-based top coat. I like Big Top or Sweet Pickens top coat. And I, most importantly, it's all natural and it sticks to almost anything, which is what I love. See, Christy Roche is on. Hey, Chris. And Cobweb Afternoon says she's late, but she just made it. Three hooks, not four. Well, it's too late now. If they can fit more jackets, they won't be able to put hats. Zeb has hats all over the house on every hook. These screws are going to be the end of me. These little tiny screws. All right. All right. You got this. I'm going to have to drill that one out, too. It'll be okay. Is that, you want to check and see? Oh, no, that's still... Have I noticed the big box stores are selling faux vintage furniture now? Lacks a soul of real pre-loved items. Um, I feel like furniture, like they've been reproducing furniture and keep vintage. They try to make it look hand-painted. Here's the thing that I think is funny, right? So... I always get the question, how do I get the smooth factory finish, right? But then when you go to these stores, they take machines and try to make them look hand painted. And we're trying to take hand painted and make it look machine. I do like spraying the paint if I want a nice factory smooth finish that I don't bother messing around with brushing and trying to get it smooth. That's just too much work for me. screws that come with stuff. Yeah, these ones aren't great. Well, it's also because this oak is so hard. We really haven't had too much problem with it before. Have I ever painted with Annie Sloan paint in the past? I have used it probably a half a dozen times. It's, it's not bad paint. It's not all natural, so there are some different things in it, as far as I know. And um, it brushed okay. I didn't really love the way it sprayed, but it could have also been because I wasn't used to it. Oh, Cobweb Afternoon says, my paint order is arriving Friday. Woo, 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 woo. If it's arriving Friday, it probably means that Caitlin shipped it. And she hasn't shipped for a very long time. Ivy's been taking care of it, but she had a vacation planned and we had not anticipated this paint being so delayed and we couldn't let people wait longer than they had to so Caitlin came in because I've been working on taxes 
because October 15th is my extension deadline, which means I have to finish my taxes, oh, you know, before I go to France. <laughs> but I'm halfway there, so I'm good. Yep. I've been, uh, I've been uh, reconciling bank statements over 100 pages, and then I just did my Venmo yesterday. I got to do my PayPal today. Whew. It's crazy. So we, we talked about getting an accountant and having a, is it a CPA? Is that how you say that? Yeah, we're going to be having an accountant CPA next year, but this year I just got to get her done. Well, this, I mean, by the time we get everything together for them, we might as well just input the numbers ourselves. Well, and I don't <laughs> next know. Next year would be different. I don't know if people know this, but I have a mortgage background, so I used to be a number cruncher and I used to analyze tax returns and whatnot. So I'm, I'm not like completely inept from office tax stuff. It just takes me a little bit longer. I really stink at using the IOD stamps. Any advice? Um, for one, ink is a little bit more expensive than paint. So maybe try that. For two, you have to have a steady hand. And three, practice makes perfect. I'm still not perfect at it, but I find if I go slow and I'm not nervous, you just commit, push down, pull up. Do you have a fun little stencil we could put on here? Yeah, I do. And okay, we can, so. that's, the base is almost dry, so we can stencil that. Yep, in just a minute we'll, we'll do that. All right, so French cleat. I'm going to, so this is, if you don't know what a French cleat is, so you put one side on the wall, one side on your piece, and then it just clips right in there like that, nice and flush on the wall. These particular ones can hold up to 25 pounds. Might even be 50. I'd have to look on that. Do you want to do like just some flowers across the top? Or do you want to put like a word on it? I like flowers. I like the flower idea. But very sturdy. It's how we hang big, huge windows. We'll hang doors off the wall, like old salvage doors. Um, really big signs. The sign in our kitchen is over five feet wide. It's hung with a French cleat similar to this. We could, you know what? We could also um, stamp it. Do you want to stamp it instead with a new stamp? Yeah, sure. Okay, stencil or stamp? Stencil or stamp, guys. What do you want to see? We can use that, that floral stamp that we have and white. All right, so I'm just going to use the center here to get this close on lining that up. Because we're going to stencil the chair, so we could probably stamp this. Especially since we just got a question about stamping. Stamp, stamp. All right. Pickle stamps not smush down because it will distort it. Agreed. All right, so we're going to do stamp because a few people have said stamp. Plus, we just got a question about stamp. They said use magnolia stencil. I promise I will do something fun with that magnolia stencil here pretty soon in the next few weeks. I've got some ideas. Hopefully, they don't roll off the conveyor belt. But we're going to use the IOD, what is this called? Lady? Lady of Shalot. Lady Shalot. We like the shellac a lot. Alright, hang on, this is gonna be loud. Alright, that's on there nice and tight. So now you screw this onto the wall and it hangs. Yep, that'll be awesome. And if you didn't use a French cleat, I really don't think it would hold up as well. A French cleat really is your best option. These will hold up to 50 pounds, so four coats, no problem. Yep, and when we sell these, we include the backer piece. We just tape it onto the back here so that people can have that and, and they don't have to unscrew it on their the house. wall. We leave the piece in the wall for our next piece, and then we have the back tape for that. That's awesome. That turned out way cute, Seth. All right, so let's stamp this up while we're waiting for that to dry a little bit more. Then we'll stencil the base, and I think we could probably get, what do you think, $35 for this now that we made it into a hook? Hmm, I would say $39.95 because 39 we got the price of the hooks, we're going to stamp it. Okay, so $39.95 for this. The hooks are a dollar a piece on Amazon, so they're really inexpensive. Oh, and the well then, yeah. It's about know. four, so four, five, six, seven, eight. How much did you pay for the chair originally? $10. So this is half no, of it? No, I think we should ask $39.95 because originally I was just going to ask that for the chair, but we judged it up. All right, let's stamp. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera back down in close. How do I include the second cleat? We put it in a Ziploc baggie and we tape it to the back. Just like when you buy a frame at the store, the hardware is usually taped to the back. We Ziploc baggie it, tape it to the back. All my employees know that if it's 
on the wall in a French cleat, not to remove the cleat from the wall that the hardware is already on there. It just makes the transition for purchasing a lot smoother and then allows for me not to put lots of holes in the walls because what I like to do is once I have a French cleat in the wall, I just put something else in its place and then I'm not taking things in and out of the wall. I think we have the French cleat in the link in the description. I have, I have in the description, let's see, is it in the Amazon stuff? Is there a French cleat in there? Um, no, nope, I don't have it. I'll add it to the Amazon links. Yeah, the cleat, and we should also add the hooks too. You can also purchase hooks and cleats at the hardware store. They're just much cheaper on Amazon. Okay, how okay. do we want to lay this out? Oh, um, we have some. So if you guys are just tuning in and you're new to our channel, the products that we use, the paint, the inks, the stamps, the stencils, you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com. Where did we lose the big flower? They are probably by oh, the sink. Oh, I bet they're still in the sink. Oh, look, Jean's here. Um... But our stencils, if you go to our website, we have a retailer map and we actually have retailers in Canada and all across the U.S. And I'm not sure if we've got them in other countries yet. I'm not sure if we moved to Australia. We may have also some there. So, Caitlin, if you're on, let us know what countries people can get it in. So they got washed. They, right. they didn't get returned. May I suggest painting the black hooks to match the chair? I actually like the contrast of the hooks. I wouldn't want them to paint them to match. Oh, good. They're clean at least. Well, we've got the big one. Let's use this big, giant one. You want to use that big one? Mm -hmm. Now, I think what we should do with this when we're not live anymore is we should cut this out so that way we're not having to peel them off. Because these aren't something that you're going to use on a whole sheet at a time. Mm, you're not I don't gonna, know. You're going to take a whole sheet like this and stamp it down. I used, I used the small ones to build the other day. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe on this big one, but... All right, All right so you're going white on this, not black. I was thinking black would look good with the hooks. Oh, you're right. You're right. All right, let go, me get, go black. get Let me go get white. Let me go get black. Or yes, we have let white? me go get the black ink. <laughs> oh, they're only a dollar on Amazon. Yeah, you get like 12 for 12.95 for these hooks. As we have shown you, the screws are not great, but for that price, you can buy your own screws. So this is just loaded up with IOD decor ink in black. So rather can. than soften the look of the black, we're going to tie the black in by using black on our stamp. I actually love black hardware. Just in my house, I have a lot of white with black. I like the contrast. This is a really big, detailed stamp. <laughs> okay. Do I got it on permanent too. ink for the stamps? Yes and yes. You can use the IOD ink. Um, I do, if it's like on this, we'll spray it with a coat of sealer on there. But you can use this ink on fabric and heat set it. It's really great ink. And they come in multiple colors. And they're right. shipped to the UK. Okay, so I've got it on there pretty well. I feel like the middle is a little shy of paint, but that's alright. Okay. I'm just going to center it on here, kind of. Oh, I would offset it, but you got to commit. I committed already. You should. Well, it's already going to look kind of offset because it's not going to stamp super good. told to tickle it, not mush it, and you're mushing it. I didn't want to tickle it because I wanted it to be full Yeah, coverage. that's true. So when you tickle it, it just kind of puts it where you touch it. That's true. That's when we do like the crack lure. Yeah. All right. Okay. The grand reveal here in a moment. Oh, I like it. It okay. shows like the brush strokes in the paint too. That's fun. All right. So we're going to layer from there, right? Oh, you're going to do more? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're layering. We're layering, and we're here. So we're gonna, I want to do these tall ones on the side here. So let's kind of lay out what I want to do. I'm going to do that. And then layer that, like, You want top. it on top? Mm-hmm. And then maybe a little flower. That's a leaves? Yeah, and then another flower here. Okay. And then maybe some... Alright, running out of room. Got these vents here. Now, the IOD sisters do blocking, where they block it out. Do you want the stem to be higher or lower? I want it to not be floating, so... Not be yeah. floating, okay. Laura says she needs to learn how to mask like the IOD sisters do. We are hoping, we're hoping, we'll do a video here in a little bit. We just need to practice. I don't know if it'll happen for a couple weeks because yeah. we're going to be out of town. That's right. 
<laughs> Although I am planning on, I'll probably edit a couple videos while we're there, just because everybody will go to sleep and I'll still be awake, and I might as well do something. And we're going to be filming and recording, and we're going to try to go live, but our internet, our, our uh, wireless provider said Where's that it's hit and miss. Sometimes you have Where's really good answer? service, sometimes you don't have good enough service to stream. So we'll see how it goes. Plus, streaming takes a lot of data, so if we do, it'll be like a short stream. Well, we may, maybe we'll film some videos before we go, but not edit them, and then you can edit them over there. We might do like some junking hauls or something. Short DIYs, okay. So, we need some leaves, like just kind of here on the bottom. So, maybe don't stamp, don't. Don't do the whole thing. Well, I kind of have to, because then. Okay, just be careful. I'll just put my, I'll sacrifice my. Here, I, here, I didn't do the whole thing. And you could do this in different colors. Like, they have a green ink now. And you could do the leaves in green and the flowers in different colors. Or you could use paint to do that as well. So the way that the sisters mask out is they actually cut out a piece of cardboard. Um, the the shape of the stamp that they're going to mm, be That one didn't go on very well. Oh, you need more ink. Well, I'm not going to go over it again now. That's okay. All right. It's, um, just, it's just paint. We'll just put another one kind of over here, and then a leaf, and then maybe another little flower there to balance it out. So that if you were going to put, let's say you were going to put this stamp, hold on, and you wanted to layer it over this stamp, right? And you don't want to see both of the images because it dis, uh, distorts it. You would take this stamp here that's going to be on top and cut out a piece of paper or cardstock or whatever. And then when you go to stamp this one, you put that underneath it, you stamp over the top it, of it, and then the area where this stamp will be going is blank. So that way you're not getting stamp on top of stamp. If that makes sense. That, that's assume, I'm assuming that's how they do it. I, that's what I thought when they said masking. I don't know if they've actually done a video on it. But. So these ones over on the side are not because of the, the design that's on the wood. They're yeah. not looking like a whole lot, but they look cool. So I just want to do like a, a rose here and a leaf there. Okay. Do we want to do that one or do you want to do this one? Uh, let's do this one. I guess we'll watch that one. Sorry, I changed my mind. Uh, we do sand our stamps before we use them to give them some tooth. Just light sandpaper, you don't want to do a lot because you're not trying to sand the detail off, you're just trying to make it so that and we will sand the, this the medium a bit. will stick on there well. When the ink is dry, which it takes a little while, we'll sand the ink a little bit to distress it. Oh, you shifted. I did shift. When that I, was a lot of shift. When I moved my hand and drug it. Oh, it's all right. That's okay. Okay, I think that's good. Do we need anything else over here? No, I think a little off balance higher over here is better. Okay. All right. Can they see that there? So once this is dry completely, I'll come back and distress that a little bit just to kind of blend it in. And you know me, it may get some white wax. And we'll also paint these little sections here. Yeah, it'll get painted down there. It would look really cool if you had like the back of this. You see how this is all flat? If you wanted to add some detail to something like that that was going to be visible oh, on the yeah. back of your chair or something. Well, remember when I stenciled our, those bar stools, number one, number two, number three, these chairs are so cute with stuff stenciled on the back if they're going to be used as chairs. Yeah. All right, let's stencil that stool that we did. Okay, I'm going to move, I'm going to move the camera back so you guys okay. can see us again. All right. one were we doing? Do you have tape? Oh, that is like really, oh, that's like a piece of plastic. I don't know, but you're off camera, I think. Oh, sorry, I'm <laughs> off camera. I can't stand that paint. It's got plastic or something. What did you want? Um, oh, we don't need tape. Okay, no tape. You got yep. stencil brush out? Yep. Stencil brush. So the front of stencil is going to go here. We're going to be using the farm brush here. Let's flip this so that way when they see it, they get the right. Yep. Cool. Yeah, if you time. want to know how to milk paint, type in Jamie Ray Vintage Milk Paint or 
go to our, what are they called, playlist. There's a playlist. With we have a whole tons. playlist for milk paint. So go to Jamie Ray Vintage, click playlist, and you can just watch the milk paint videos. There's lots of good information on there. You said you had stenciling stuff. Yeah, I did. It's right there. What did right you there. do with the pad? Oh, I didn't get that. Sorry. It's right there. Yeah, I think there's like 20 videos up on there or more in the playlist on all kinds of different techniques and what to watch out for and how to get good results and all fun, all sorts of fun stuff. We need a bigger table. <laughs> this table's pretty big. We need less stuff. Yeah, we just need to clear out like behind what's here, which, you know, it's on the list of things, but it's not like a critical thing that needs oh, it, to happen. So it will happen before our grand opening because this is the room for the make and takes and for our class. What color am I doing on the stencil? Is that it's why we have the tarnish pearl? pearl. Okay. Oh, you were going to do black, but I want to do white. What do you think? I think the tarnish pearl will show up really well on it's this. It's creamy. I think it'll look good when you distress it. It'll make it Not a like fan it. of the stamps on the chair. This cool chair. Hopefully somebody else is a fan for $39.95. All right. Brittany Brown gave us a $2 super chat. Oh, thanks, Brittany. Deb says, what's the reason for going to France? Um, so we're doing an antique buying tour. So we're going to be taking you guys, part of it's for YouTube because we're going to be filming. So we want to show you what we find while we go junking in France. And then also we're going to be looking at uh, French country paint finish and design to kind of amp that up. So, you know, there's only so much you can do by looking at pictures. So we want to actually go there and do that. We're going to go get hands on. And we're going with a bunch of people that are paint finishers and YouTubers, Debbie, Dion, Mara, um, Zeb and I will be there, um, Sarah, another Deborah, um, Paula, Sarah Paula. I have to look. I gotta look at the list, but a lot of people are coming. I can't keep track because there were like 20 people coming and they've dropped us off as we've gotten closer. Tiffany says, can I come? Sure. You come right along, the more the merrier. No, we're excited. Part of it's for fun, but mostly it's for work. And we're hoping that we can create some good content from you guys and get inspired to do some new things. So, all right, let's see if we have any other questions. Please show a closer look when we're done. Yeah, we'll show you both projects when we're done. So this little stool will probably just sell for like $22. That's about top of the mark for that one. You're such a good stenciler. I've had lots of practice recently. True that. We can also stencil this. So this is the little C stencil brush that we've got here. It can also be found on our website. Where's that at, Jamie? Commercial time. Oh, jamierayvintage.com. <laughs> and at the end of this week, check out our website. On Friday, we will have our new stencil brushes up. I wanted to wait till they actually came to the manufacturer because um, one of them comes from Italy and three of them are made in the U.S. And I wanted to make sure we had them. And Josie from Paint Pixie, who's going to be making them for us, says that they will have them Thursday and ship to us Friday. So we'll put them up on that website Thursday night so you guys can start ordering and then they'll actually start shipping like Monday or Tuesday. We're super excited about that. I know you guys have been waiting for the stencil brushes and you've been patient. I could have sort of done a pre-sale of them. But with some of the delays we've been having and all the new products we've had rolling out, I just wanted to wait till I knew they were on their way. Um, is this color on the... Okay, so this is Salty Kiss on here. This is Apothecary, and Zeb is stenciling with Tarnish Pearl, which is one of the new DIY paint colors. So Tarnish Pearl is like a, a brownish cream. It, it pulls to the brown side of things, so it's not it won't it's not like a yellow cream. And that's that's the role it fills in the DIY lineup. Yeah, we're super excited. Um, I did have a question on wax brushes. So I generally keep a dark or black wax brush. I use it on either. I have one for white and one for clear. And if you only have one, then you just need to wash it in between uses because you don't want to obviously mix your black and your white and your clear all together. It's kind of a hot mess. Do you need my help holding that? I got it. I just had to move this pad down. I was holding it up so they could see how I was offloading and things. Sweet. All right, I'm thinking we'll go ahead and when you're done with that, we can stencil our little tote and then we'll show them all three projects. This tote wasn't free. It was two dollars or four dollars, four dollars I think, and painted up all cute. See, it'll sell for like twenty-two dollars. Yeah, we got it at the thrift store. Or twenty dollars, I don't know. We'll see how cute it is when we're done. 
We haven't gotten a tote in a while, and I think, do we even have any in the shop right now? I think we're out. We have a gray one. Oh, we've had that gray one for a while. I think we need the stencil on it. Today's going to be an advertisement for Plant Bar AZ. So Plant Bar AZ has a new color station. You can patch those Friday and Saturdays. So if you guys are in Arizona, um, in Anthem area, or even in Phoenix, and you want to head up the mountain a little bit, um, head over to Plant Bar AZ and check out what they got going on. They're not up the mountain. They're in Anthem. They're up the... They're, they're right before you go up the mountain. It's slightly up the hill. <laughs> Isn't it a, light, a little bit cooler there? Just a little bit? I don't know, like a degree? Oh, P Caitlin says Plant Bar does have the new stencils. Okay, sweet. I thought so, because I'm pretty sure we got them all delivered at the same time. Have the new stencils. Okay, sweet. I thought so, because I'm pretty sure we got them all delivered at the same time. Oops. Oops. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like it. I got a little bit over right there. We'll have it's to okay. sand we'll, that. We'll fix it. That turned out way cute. So this is gonna, you know, this is something that somebody can put out with porch for the holidays. We'll probably touch up with a little bit more of the apothecary in the areas that we. So cut we off. have a little chair like this on our front porch, and our, the delivery guy sets everything. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be sealing this and sweet picking this top coat instead of wax, so it could go on a porch. Let's go ahead and stencil this one real quick, and then yeah. we'll show everybody what we've got going on. The shop opens um, in a few minutes, but this one real quick, and then yeah. we'll show everybody what we've got going on. The shop opens um, in a few minutes, but I can see people already walking past the back, which is good. We've actually had a ton of people come Monday and Tuesday because we have a doorbell camera, so I can kind of monitor that. We probably had 10 or 12 people come when we were closed. So we're thinking what stencil we may um, just, I was going to use the Christmas, oh, the Christmas, the Christmas one trees again? just across the bottom. Oh, okay. So the same stencil. Just the Christmas trees? Yeah, just the just Christmas trees, just all the way across. Okay. And then I think you could probably fit three and three, yeah? All right. Halfway? Do you not want to? No, nope, I'm good. Or I'll just I'll just hold it right here. Okay. Less yellow. What? Oh. Um, Janet White says, love, 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 I'll be down to get some tarnished pearl this week. I've been wanting, uh, been waiting for a less yellow DIY ivory. Yeah, so crinoline is a little bit more yellow. Um, and obviously it does have some yellow undertones because it's cream, but it's more in the brown family. And it's funny because Debbie was like, I'm not going to add a new white. And then, um, the tarnished pearl is the name of the business owner. This cream, this color was like, you really need a brown toned cream. So I'm excited. Christy Roche is heading to Plant Bar tomorrow. Right. Oh, Kathy Leslie says that's gorgeous. So this is a Farm Fresh Christmas tree stencil. This is a JRB stencil. This is something you can pick up on our website or from one of our over 40 retailers, which is really exciting. So this is one of our favorite things to do where we kind of take the Christmassy color, put it on the main part of the piece, and then we'll take a non-Christmassy color and use it on the stencil. And it creates a fun, unique look that goes with a lot of Christmas decor, but isn't necessarily like what everybody else is doing. Overtly, because, oh my gosh, that's so cute with the trees. And I like to, you know, the stencil is great to make a sign, but never forget, you can take that stencil and use bits and pieces to do a bunch of different things and really get your money's worth out of it. Are those the same height? Oh, uh, they're going to be close. Okay. We've got some descending happening. I'll, I'll raise it up a little bit. Okay, we're going to distress it. They said tarnished pearl is pretty. And then Amstead says, I have a girly drill that works well for most things, but I can't even drill a pilot hole. I'm not super great with hand tools, but I did put up the shift flap in the shop by myself. It's a little crooked. Oh, look, hear it? There's the clock. There's the clock. It's 11 o'clock. We'll definitely get that thing painted this week now that we know that it's working. <laughs> Kathy says, never have I ever seen that kind of toolbox here coming to Utah. Come to Utah for the grand opening. We'll have lots of fun stuff. I promise that until my fingers fall off, I will be crafting and DIYing to fill this place up with lots of fun stuff. Lots of small, so people that are flying in can have some things that they can take home with them. Um, can you tell me why my stenciling bleeds through? You need a drier, stiffer brush. The brush makes all the difference in the world. That's why we've come up with our new line that's coming out. Zeb's using the Little C, which is one of my favorites for just an all over color. And you need to make sure your brush is very dry, almost completely no paint on it, and then do multiple layers. That's cute. So I feel like that works really well. It's still wet on the inside, so we won't distress it because we don't want to get that yeah. dust all over, but 
that's what it'll mostly look like. We'll, we'll bring some of the wood tones back through with the stressing and give it some age. That's so cute. You think we should send to, I think just one side is good. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could go all the way around. You know around. what we could do? Let's do the, the farm fresh Christmas tree. Let's do it on the other side. Oh. Can we do that with it? Oh, just put it up like this. Can you stencil like that? You can't, or do you want me to hold it at an angle? We're going to distress anyway. Oh, he just put those Christmas trees face down. It's all right. They get a little sawdust in them. It's just, uh, just adds texture. patina and texture. Well, if you move that up and then we can put some of these words on the bottom. Christmas tree down. Um, oh, Tiffany Johnson says she has a JRP stencil retailer by her and that she's going broke buying all the stencils. <laughs> I'm sorry. Glad you could get the stencils. Sad that you're going broke. Make sure that you're making stuff for you and making stuff to sell. Support the habit. too much tarnished pearl out, but we're going to run through it with all these stencils. Sorry, you thought that you were done, and then I was like, hey, let's stencil some more stuff. It takes, I would say it probably takes about an ounce of paint to do this stencil twice. Uh, maybe. maybe. So maybe a half an ounce. Doesn't take, that's why I love stenciling. It's a good way to use the, the end of your paint supplies. All right. So there's that one. Okay, and then there we go. I'll hold this on the side. I'm going to bring it up just a hair so that we get okay. all of the water. And then we'll put a there. Christmas tree on each side. And then, then we can be done. Okay, can you hold it tight right, yeah, right there? right there. Got it. Here, I got this side. Okay. We're concentrating. I'm just trying to be careful not to get over on the Christmas oh, tree part and go over the words I already did. Tiffany says she makes back what she spends, so thank you. Oh, That's good. awesome. Kathy says her family's already asked what she wants for Christmas and she gave them our website. Sweet! <laughs> We've already had people starting to buy gift certificates on the website, so I think that the word is out that that's what everybody wants for Christmas. <laughs> also, think ahead if you're looking at making neighbor gifts and stuff. Some of our stencils are really great for neighbor gifts or gifts for friends and family. Well, we'll probably stamp some uh, dish towels here for the, the Christmas season with the IOD stamps too. And maybe we'll have one day where it's just stamping like crazy. Okay, I'm going to roll a little Christmas tree on each side. I'm going to do two different types of trees. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize they were different trees. Yeah, they're all different. All the trees are different shapes. I should know that because I designed the stencil, but sometimes the graphic designers take liberty to do things that I don't notice until I start using the stencil. And then they send it back to you and you're like, yeah, that looks amazing. <laughs> Oh, Am says if the bleed through is from the paint, then you need to shellac it. Yeah, if the bleed through is just paint pooching out under the side, less paint on your brush. If you're getting bleed through from what's coming through the paint, then shellac it and then repaint over the top of that. Yeah, and then stencil. The stencils are reusable and they're super thick. They're made for makers, so that way you can use them over and over again. I'm going to do the skinny tree. I like it. Oh, I would do the same one on each side. No, I'm going to do the fat okay. one. Okay. Yeah, just so it's, it doesn't have to be the same, but just... Similar. Ooh, Rachel Hicks, new retailer. She's placing her order today. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, that would be cute. We're not going to do it today because we don't have one, but Robert said use the back end of a pencil in different paint color and you can put bulbs on the Christmas tree. That's a really good idea. All right. Okay. Christmas trees on the one side. Party in the front, business And in the that back. looks like an the official Christmas tree back. sign that you might have seen I know. a long time ago. Like, that looks so good. So that's, that's a really good use of this stencil. Multiple ways you can use it, not the way it was designed, which I love. All right. So, so you get this tote, you put like a bunch of pine cones on it, centerpiece on your table, you know. Done and done. Or some berries, some red berries in there. Yeah. All right, let's show them. Uh, they wanted a close-up of that. Uh, the back hook. of the chair and then we'll show them the stool one more time and we'll be ready to go if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that give us a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to hit share you can copy and paste this video on facebook which really helps us meet new people yeah it helps to get a lot more reach actually the algorithm likes that on youtube and it's it, the more you guys share it for us the more it helps us out and helps us create more content more videos. All right, don't forget to hit up jamierayvintage.com and our JRB stencil retailers. 
Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more Christmas tree DIYs. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Have a great week, and we'll uh, have a new video uploaded tomorrow and Friday and be live again on Saturday for our junk call. Catch you Bye, later. guys. Love you.